In February, residents of Soufre for Saint Jacques and Environs were treated to a host of free medical consultations. The They Often Cry Outreach TOCO, in collaboration with Integrative Clinics International, the Ministry of Health, and the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, SRDF, hosted a cadre of 11 female doctors at the Sufra Hospital for two days. According to the organizer for Integrative Clinics International, Felicia Kelly, the non-profit organization has been providing such services to the Caribbean for over two decades. Uh, in Soufraire, we're working with TOCO, which is the Often Cry Outreach, uh, an organization founded by Taj Weeks and his wife Angela. And we're in Soufraire to uh, serve the people, uh, get, do a free community clinic, and we have a team of 11 uh, women in medicine. It's a unique group. I usually take a varied group, but this is the second team of the same group of women. And um, there's general medical doctors, there are emergency room doctors, there's OBGYNs. And we're just giving an opportunity to be seen by a doctor for, without cost. Kelly says following analyses, the hope is that the mission will return to Soufre. So we don't want to just go to a country one time. We want to come and assess what the needs are. You know, the chronic care issues such as hypertension and diabetes dominate the community. So in Jamaica, what we do is we go twice a year and we provide the medicine for the interim. So we give them enough to last until we come the next time because there are so many people who aren't able to spend the money to get medicines that are really life-saving. I mean, they're needed on a daily basis. So we just come, and this is our first trip, so we will have to do some assessment on how it all went and where we can improve and what our obstacles and what our strengths were within that. She went on to add that the two days spent in Soufre were a great learning curve for the team of doctors and organizing teams. Um, the experience itself has also been really valuable. I think it's been valuable for the people we've treated and then it's been valuable for our group to experience um, what medicine and what healthcare are like in St. Lucia. It's been something where we can uh, bring our expertise and our knowledge to the patients that we're treating in St. Lucia, but I think it's also really rewarding for our healthcare team to see how healthcare is, is practiced in St. Lucia. We, we all kind of emerge um, better because of the experience. Physician Dr. Maya Fox explained that her team noted a high incidence of diabetes and hypertension. She says following consultation with her team, the hope is that they get to visit St. Lucia again. From the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, I am Genevieve Gonzague.